In our previous video, we created a Revit model of a 10 stories building. In this video, we will export the Revit model to eTabs and perform analysis. Link to download Revit model of 10 stories building is attached in the description below. Subscribe our channel for more videos. We will export Revit model to eTabs using plug in CSI X Revit. Link to download plugin is attached in the description below. When we install this plugin, it will appear in add-ins. Click on export to create new eTabs model. Keep grids, frames, walls and floors checked and press OK. Save this file to import in eTabs. Now open eTabs and click on file then click on import. Click on Revit Texture file. Open this file in eTabs. We will edit the material parameter to remove warning. Change material to 4000 PSI. Now press OK twice. Save the tabs file. Our 10 story structure have been created in eTabs. Now let's assign fixed supports at base. Click on plan views. Open base plan. Draw selection window to select all the points. Now go to assign tab. Click on joints then click on restraints. Click on fixed support and click OK to assign fixed supports. At base. Fixed supports have been assigned. Now we will define materials. Go to Define tab and then click on Materials. We will use 4000 PSI Concrete. Click on Modify to view the properties of concrete material. These are the standard properties of 4000 PSI Concrete. Now we will see how we can create frame sections of this concrete strength. Go to Define tab and then click on Section Properties and then Frame Sections. Here we have sections we defined in Revit. Click on B9 by 24. Now click on Modify. We can see 4000 PSI material is assigned. Click on Modify. Here we can see beam is selected as design type. Now we can view column section. Select column and click on Modify. We can see column material and dimensions. Click on Modify button. We can see column is selected as design type. Now we will view slab section. Go to Define tab. Then click on Section Properties and then click on Slab Sections. We will delete section not used here then click on S6. And press Modify. We can see 4000 PSI material is used and slab is 6 inch thick. Now we will assign diaphragm on slabs. Go to Select tab and then click on Select then Properties. And choose Slab Sections. Click on S6 and press Select. All the slabs have been selected. Now go to Assign tab and then click on Shelves. Then click on Diaphragms. Select on D1 and press Apply and OK button. Diaphragms have been applied on all the floors. To select previous selection of all the slabs, we will click on this small PS button. Now we will apply mesh to slabs. Go to Assign tab and then click on Shells. Click on Floor Auto Mesh Options. Choose Auto Cookies Cut option and make mesh of 48 inch. Press Apply and then OK button. Now we will apply load on the floors. Go to Define tab and then click on Load Pattern. Here we have Dead and Live Load Pattern. We will define Superimposed Dead Load as S Dead. Self Weight will only be defined in Dead. Roof Live Load will be defined as our Live. Load Patterns have been defined now let's apply loads on slabs. Select all the slabs by pressing Previous Selection button. 10 slabs have been selected. Now go to Assign tab and then click on Shell Loads. Click on Uniform. 
Apply 50 PS F load in S dead case. We can see 50 PS F load has been applied. Now again click on previous selection button to select all slabs. Now apply 40 PS F live load on all the floors. Now let's open roof plan. We can see that 40 PS F live load is applied on roof. Select Roof Slab and then go to Assign tab then Shell Loads. Click on Uniform. Now click on Delete Existing Loads. Now we will select Roof Slab to assign Roof Live Load. We will assign 30 PS F Roof Live Load. We will perform Response Spectrum Analysis to check Structure Response in Earthquake. We will define Response Spectrum Function of Earthquake. As per our site conditions, we will define modal cases to view mode shape of our building. Now we will define modal case. Go to define tab then click on modal cases. Now click on modify. We will change icon to its modal type. Now we will add three cases. Then we will change the load type to acceleration. Now we will change the second case direction to UI and third case direction to UZ. We will also change number of modes to 20. Our modal case has been defined. Now we will define mass source. Go to define tab then click on mass source. Click on modify mass source. Check on specified load pattern. We will add dead and superimposed dead as load patterns. Check on vertical mass and press OK. Mass source have been defined. Now let's define response spectrum. Go to define tab then click on function. Now click on response spectrum. Here we will delete existing function. Now click on functions and choose UBC 97. Now click on add new function. We will define new function as per our requirements. Write name as UBC97. Now change CA value to 0.28 and we will keep CV as 0.4. Now our function has been defined. Now let's define load cases based on this response spectrum. Go to define tab then click on load cases. Click on add new case. Type name as specx. Change type to response spectrum. Now click on Add to Add function. Choose UBC 97. Now we will divide G value by our factor, which is 5.5 in our case. Now press OK. We will define another case in Y direction by following the same steps. Type name spec Y. We will change the acceleration direction to UY. Change function to UBC 97. Again, divide scale factor by 5.5. Our response spectrum cases have been defined. Now our 10 stories model is ready. We have applied all the materials and loads. Now let's perform analysis. Go to analysis tab and then click run analysis. Analysis is being performed. We can see the deformed shape of structure in dead load case. If we click on start animation, we can see a small animation of structure in deformed condition. To see deformed shape in earthquake, we will go to display tab. Click on deformed shape. Select case spec X. Now click on start animation. This is how structure will move in earthquake. Applied in X direction. Now let's see response in Y direction. This is how structure will respond in earthquake applied in Y direction. Now click on display tab and then click on display. Then click on undeformed shape. Now we will see bending moment diagrams of the frame structure. 
Click on Display tab, then Force Stress Diagrams. Now click on Frame Forces. We have Dead Load Case selected. End Moment 33. Click Apply to see Bending Moment Diagram in Dead Load Case. We can see Shear Force Diagram by selecting Shear to to Case. Now we will see Reaction Forces at the base of the structure. Now we will click on Display tab, then Undeformed Shape. Go to Model Explorer, then click on Tables. Now explore analysis, then results, and then reactions. And then base reactions. Here we can see total dead load of structure in vertical direction. Also live and superimposed dead load cases are displayed here. I hope you enjoyed this video. In our next video we will make robot structural analysis model and perform analysis on it. And then we will compare the results of both the softwares. Subscribe our channel to watch more interesting videos. Thanks for watching.